On the surface, physics can seem like a very tedious subject, and I've thought that before myself. It is taught as a way to predict and describe the physical world, but that in itself should be far from boring, because we live in a very exciting place. I used to just want to be a writer, because I saw writing as a more creative subject than science, but it wasn't long before I found poetry in maths and physics. There is a beautiful theorem called Know This Theorem, which talks about the symmetries to be found in physical systems. My inspiration as a physics student comes from finding beauty in things that would otherwise seem mundane. A mirror symmetry is where you fold an object in half and it perfectly mirrors itself. But you can have other kinds of symmetry, such as taking an object and moving it along, rotating it, or waiting a while, and it's still the same. When I say the same, I mean the total energy is still the same. So energy can come in a few different forms. You could have potential energy, kinetic or movement energy, sound or heat, but as long as the total remains the same, then a change has been symmetric. What Noether's theorem does is it looks at these imaginary changes or transformations to find out real things about an object's behavior. What we find out about is something called conservation laws. You might have heard that momentum is conserved. Well, momentum is something's mass times its velocity or speed, so it's how much motion an object has. If a change has been symmetric under a transformation, so the total energy stayed the same, then that means the total momentum will also be conserved and stay the same. If though you only have a change that is symmetric in one axis of rotation, it means the angular momentum in that direction is conserved. These kind of laws work for symmetries in time as well. By looking at symmetries in nature, we can find out interesting things about quantities we know must stay the same under some change, and we can work backwards as well. If we find out that something has been conserved, we know that there must be some underlying symmetry present. This comes in handy when we are probing down into things like quantum mechanics and figuring out what it is that we're made of and how it all holds together.